Imagine you're in your kitchen. You open up your fridge, take out a glass of milk, and you drink it. That milk travels down your esophagus into your stomach where it curdles. At length, it ends up in your small intestine where it is digested. The digestion process releases what milk is renowned for, calcium, the stuff in your bones. Now, the release of calcium is in the form of a very small nanoparticle, many nanoparticles. And the surface of this nan these nanoparticles is coated with hair-like extensions that are called casein phosphopeptides. These peptides has the have the amazing ability to enhance the absorption of this nanoparticle into the body. How they do it is the subject of my study. I theorize that the positively charged atoms on the tips of these peptides interact with the negatively charged atoms along the small intestine. And when they're in close proximity, they click together like magnets. And at length, because of the fluidity of the small intestine, a pore is formed, and which allows the absorption of the nanoparticle into the body. For this to be true, though, there are three prerequisites. One, the peptide has to be flexible. Two, it, it cannot be collapsed. It has to be extended in order to be able to interact with the small intestine. And three, it has to attach and form the pore. So what I've shown that, yes, the peptide is definitely flexible. It definitely extends in the presence of calcium, and currently, what I'm doing using computation is looking at the interaction of this peptide on the surface of the cell, intestinal cell, to look at the formation of that pore. If this turns out to be true, we would know the mechanism by which milk is able to have the highest calcium bioavailability of all the calcium-containing foods. Furthermore, knowing this mechanism would allow us to look at another avenue with which we can improve the health and well-being of people, especially those with osteoporosis, weak bones. So the next time you look at milk, think, holy cow, <laughs> nature's nanotechnology. Thank you very much.